Hey everybody, this is Kenneth from Filaments Folly. I got a lot of questions on how I got this Benchy into Blender, and I thought I'd just go over really quick how I took care of that. So just go ahead, sit down, take some notes, and we'll go through this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is, if you're not already in the 3D printing community, let's go ahead and get a copy of Cura. So just type in Cura Download. If you've already got Cura, and because you do 3D printing, and you already know how to do this and you have it installed, there'll be timestamps below on just skipping the installation of Cura and how to slice your model. If not, just keep following along. Okay, so we have Cura here. Now, they don't just have like a quick download button. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then up a little bit, and you'll see download Cura free. And let's go ahead and download that for free. Go ahead and get whatever version is appropriate for you. While that's doing that, we're going to go over to Thingiverse. And again, if you've already got a 3D printer and you know what this stuff is, then don't worry about it. Let's get a Benchy. And let's go ahead and click on this. Little pro tip. If you just want to get one file, click this over here. And then you can just download the Benchy you want. So let's find one of the Benchies right here. Okay, Cura is now done downloading. Let's go ahead and install that. Okay, so I fast forwarded through that. I just click OK on everything that comes up. They don't usually have any bloatware on these things. Okay, so if it's your first time installing Cura, even if you don't have a 3D printer, just go ahead and hit accept, next, all this kind of good stuff. You can skip logging in. Just add a printer. So let's, we're just going to add a non-networked printer. I'm going to add an Ender just because I'm familiar with it. Uh, you can add any type you want, but if you want to follow along here, the Creality Ender series is usually what I use because like, I've got a bunch of those. Ender 3. Don't worry about that. As long as you selected the same printer, you should be fine. Skip that. Finish. Okay, so we have our Cura installed. Let's go ahead now and open that Benchy. All right, so we got the Benchy here. Let's come over here to these settings, crank it up, because the thing is, this will create more layers, and the more layers we have, the more objects we'll have in Blender, and the bigger our file will be and the slower it will be to react. So if you want it to be like really tight layers, then go small. If you want really fat, big layers, go bigger. Uh, the infill is how much of that stuff inside the printer you would have for support, or the print you would have for support. This, since this is going to be aesthetic, you can actually do zero and that's fine, because this doesn't need to support anything. But if you want it to look cool, you can go ahead and just crank it up. You don't need it supports and you don't need adhesion. Um, infill. If there's different patterns you can do for infill, you can mess around with these for different cool effects. Uh, we're going to do gyroid because I've always wanted to do that. And I think it would look cool. So let's go ahead and hit slice real quick here. And before we save this to disk, let's preview it. And if we zoom in, you can kind of see what, almost like a preview of what the inside of this will look like. So you can look at this and be like, Hmm, does this have enough stuff? Yeah, I like that. This is going to be a really cool pattern. Okay, so I like this. So now we need to save this to disk. So let's go ahead and just save it right now to my desktop. Awesome. All right, we need one more tool here. So let's go over here to uh, G. I'll have this link in the description as well. Yep, and we want to go code, download. All right, so now we need to go ahead and open up Blender. And let's open that up. Now, I'm currently running Blender 3.0 uh, because of Cycles X. This won't work in Cycles X yet, or that version of the beta. I just not technically skilled to get it to run. Although it does work in 2.8 and 2.9.
So let's go in here. We're going to delete everything out of here because we don't need any of that. Let's go to Preferences. Install. And then we want to go to our Downloads. And we want to make sure we click Install uh, Regex. And I cannot pronounce that. TQDM. And then we're done there. This may lock up for a second as it's installing everything. Now this part here may lock your computer up. Uh, I locks up mine for a little while. Don't freak out. Unless it crashes, let it keep going. All right, there's our G code. All right, depending on how long this takes, I am going to just fast forward through this part of the video. Okay, so it's imported. And if we hit the period key in our numpad, we can just go right to it if we just click on one of these. So there it is. And I should have taken off this right here, but that's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to delete that layer because we don't technically need it. All right, so if you look at this benchy, it looks a little squat. And we're going to fix that here in a second. But let's go ahead and select it all. And then let's select that bottom layer last. And then we're going to hit Control J. And that's going to group this into one object. And that's really important for later. So let's go back to Cura now. And let's go over and select our Benchy. And see how tall it was. So it was 48 millimeters tall. Now when this imports, it's going to import as meters because scaling is not set properly. We're not going to set that properly. It's just whatever millimeters that other one says, do it meters here. So we want to go 48 here. And then we're going to go over and check the other one, and 31 for the X, and 60 for the Y. Okay, so now that's set properly. So now we have our scale properly. So that's really cool and all, but it's still only one piece. So let's go ahead and select this. Okay, so let's go over here and select our modifiers. Select Build. And all of a sudden it disappears. Where did my Benchy go? Don't worry. So what we have here is we're going to start at frame 1, and we're going to have 100 frames. And it's going to basically do divide this model into 100 parts. Now, if we look over at our Benchy again over here, you can see that we had... So if you look over here at our Benchy, you can see that we had 171 layers. Now, if we want one layer per layer, or one frame per layer, we would just set this to 170. You know, if you set this to like 5, it's just going to chunk in, essentially. But let's go ahead and hit play here and see what happens. Now, this may not play at real time because this is a lot of data. And my computer's slow. Oops. So you can see it's putting more than one layer in here at a time. But this is really cool. So this is essentially how you do it. And that's it, people. You're done. I made this guy earlier with it, which was really fun. Just testing out a project. I have had one issue where after I close this, when I go to re-import my G-code, it just gives me errors down here. And it doesn't matter if I reopen Cura a bunch of time or Blender a bunch of times, it still won't work. If that happens, uninstall that. So just come up here, come here. Go to Preferences, and then Remove this. So you can go up here to Remove, and then Reinstall it. And that should get rid of those errors. I've had them before. That's what I ended up doing. There may be an easier fix for it, but that's what worked for me. So like I said, you know, if you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Sub, sub to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. You know, that Mickey Mouse is coming out here in a few days. We got a whole bunch of jack o lanterns coming out later this month as well. So, appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.